Good morning and welcome to Ash Wednesday. If you're not familiar with Ash Wednesday or um, why there are going to be people walking around today with a, a dark sign of the cross on their foreheads, I want to explain that this morning. Ash Wednesday is the beginning of what is called the Lenten season, observed in much of the uh, Christian church. And the Lenten season uh, begins six weeks before Holy Week, before Easter. And of course, the whole idea of Easter is that um, it is the day that Jesus resurrects from the dead. On Good Friday, he is hung on a cross. He is crucified, killed, not for having done anything wrong, but for loving people for respecting all people, for having compassion for people of all categories, and for loving them all the same. And that's something that we as human beings struggle with because we like to categorize people. It helps uh, affirm ourselves. It helps justify who we are when we can differentiate ourselves from other people. And so Jesus was hung on the cross because he didn't differentiate. He said, you are all loved by God. I love you all the same. I can't love you more. I can't love you less. And so the beginning of Lenten season, um, this Ash Wednesday, we put this sign of the cross on our foreheads with, with ashes. And that tradition has been going on for about 1,700 years. And the idea of the ashen cross is a sign of repentance. It is um, self-reflection. It is an act of humility where we recognize we are in need of God's love, grace, and forgiveness every day. We might wish we were in control of our lives or of this world, and we so are not. <laughs> In fact, the idea of ashes um, as a form of repentance goes back almost 10,000 years, where when there were times of great grief, um, maybe a nation had fallen uh, to an enemy at war, or um, maybe there was a natural disaster, uh, at times when people loved, lost loved ones, or if it was an act of repentance, people would put on what was called sackcloth, a garment made of goat hair, thick and coarse, not very comfortable. And they would put dirt on themselves or ashes as a reminder of the destruction that even they themselves died a little bit in that event and that they were in need of God to help save them, to help turn their lives around. And in fact, that's what the word repentance means, to turn around. It's not just to confess uh, or to apologize about something, but it is also then the proactive um, determination to change the way we do things or to change who we are in order to stop doing whatever that was that we are confessing about. So as we begin this Lenten season, we are using ashes in the sign of the cross saying, Lord Jesus, we need you. There are so many times when we blame other people for falling short. And during this time, we're going to turn those fingers of blame around and do self-reflection for the next several weeks. And we're going to acknowledge, you know, um, while I try to hide it, while I try to deny it, I too fall short. There are a lot of good things I do, but there are also things that I do bad. And when I don't want to admit that, I recognize that God knows what I am doing, what I'm saying, what I'm thinking, even when I'm hiding it from other people. And so that ash cross says, Lord, forgive me when um, I might be hiding it from other people, but I know that I too am falling short. There are a couple of verses that we're going to be looking at um, today that talk a little bit about this humility that's necessary. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus says, Be careful not to do your acts of righteousness, your good works, 
the four people in order to be seen by them. Or when you give to the needy, do not let do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be done in secret. Because your Father can see that. Your Father in heaven knows what you're doing. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by people. So Jesus isn't saying, don't pray, don't give to the needy, don't do good works. He's saying, do them with a genuine grateful heart and not in order to be seen uh, and to be justified. You are justified by God, not by what other people say or think of you. So today, if you have an opportunity to get uh, the sign of the cross on your foreheads, I encourage you to do that. And I hope that you have a great day. And remember, in humility, all that we have is a gift from God, including our very life. And we should be thankful for it each day and not take it for granted. God bless you. Have a good day. Goodbye.